Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm down in Huntington Beach today, so I'm uh, recording a video from here. I wanted to share with you my GitHub site to actually show you where all my code repositories are. All of the code that I use in all of my YouTube videos is stored online in GitHub, and you have access to it all. And I also stored all of the PowerPoint decks that are used in all of my videos are also, also stored online in the same repository, so you have access to everything. At github.com slash Joey A. James, as you can see here, you can get access to everything. And I have uh, three main repositories where all this data is stored. A uh, Python repository, a Java repository, and a useful utensils repository. And that's really where all of my code and PowerPoint decks and related files, data files and things like that are all located. And you have access to everything. So in the useful utensils files, you'll find really all of the PowerPoint decks I've used for almost all of my videos going back the past four years. And in the Java folder, you can see all the Java code here. And this is all with all the latest updates. I haven't made a lot of edits to the Java code, but there are a lot of different Java programs in here that are pretty useful. Uh, great for learning tools and great for you to start using the code. And then lastly, the Python. There's a ton of stuff in the Python repository. And you can see there's a lot of stuff here. Most of these are .py files, but more recently I started adding folders for categories or topics where I put all the related files in that folder, including PowerPoint decks, data files and stuff that I use to produce that video, and so on. So if you look at, say, like pandas, I've made two different pandas videos, and I may make other ones, and I'm going to put all the pandas stuff together in one pandas folder. So you can see uh, CSV and text files here, as well as some Python files. The other nice thing is you can see some of the notebooks I've created in here. So the Jupyter notebooks look really cool in GitHub. The markdown actually renders pretty nicely. It's very readable. So I encourage you to download the code, run it, and test it as you're following along in my videos. It's really important to get, gain experience using the code. Which brings up a few issues. So I want to cover some of the top problems that people have using and running my code from GitHub. I want you to know that I've, I've spent a lot of time testing and debugging the code, and it's not perfect, but in most cases, the code I actually ran it and I know it works. Let me walk you through some of the most common problems people have using my code, especially the Python code. Number one is you're probably running a Python 2.7 installation, and I have Python 3.7 uh, on my computer. So a lot of the code that's written for Python 3 doesn't run in Python 2. Sometimes that will work, but a lot of times it doesn't. So the first thing you should do is upgrade to Python 3 if that's possible or run the code in a Python 3 environment. Number two, Python is really, really picky about tabs or indents. If you have a mixture of tabs and spaces for indents in a single Python file, you're going to have problems. Python's not going to run that. It's going to kick it back with errors. But especially, this is a problem when you copy and paste a little block of code like this into your program, and then it doesn't work. Because it's like, oh, well, this one has spaces, and your existing code has tabs. So now you have a mix of both in the same program and that's not going to work. Python's going to reject that. So what you want to do is show hidden characters for your Python file and check and see if all of the indents are consistent either for spaces or tabs but not a mixture of both. And you can see that when you show hidden characters. So if especially a problem if you copy and paste blocks of code from maybe from my repository or from anywhere else into your program you're going to have problems with the, the indents not being consistent. So check that out. And then number three, biggest problem is people running my code, is when they retype my code out of the video. So the, a lot of times people make typing errors. They made a mistake typing my code in, and there's nothing I can do about that, right? So I recommend you go to GitHub, download my code, copy and paste it. If you want to type it in, that's great, but if you come up with an error, I, you know, there's no way for me to figure out what you did wrong. Um, and also sometimes I make edits I make updates to my code and I'll post those on GitHub, but it won't be reflected in the video because there's no way for me to update the video. And then there's also the possibility that I actually have a bug in my code. So I'm not a perfect programmer. Now I think all of this code runs well, but if you discover maybe a corner case where I didn't test it well enough or it's not running for you, please share in the comments on my YouTube channel so that I can test it and we can make updates. So I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Joe James from Huntington Beach. Thanks for watching.